Workflows is our graph-based editor that allows you to craft complex logic for your conversational agents. It works with both nodes that provide extra instructions or actions that your agent can execute, and with edges that define how your agent should flow through the graph during a conversation with a user. The main type of node is a sub-agent node. You can consider a sub-agent node as a kind of update to the agent's configuration. So here I've defined that on top of the system prompt of the agent, we should also append this instruction to figure out if the user wants a premium deal, a refund, or just a generic meeting. At this point in the conversation, I could also define that the agent should use a different voice or use a separate LLM than before. This can be really helpful where in some cases you want to use a quick LLM to get the user to the right part of the workflow, and other times you want the user to have a conversation with a slower LLM so that it gets a better response that's more accurate. At this initial qualification node, I've also added access to a knowledge base item that's attached to the system prompt and also to another tool that the agent can call if needed. From here, I have to define some edges to define how the agent should get to other nodes. So I've defined an edge here as an LLM condition where the LLM will decide if the agent should transfer to this new node based on the condition that if the user wants a premium deal, it should transfer to this node here. If the user wants a refund also, I've defined it should transfer to the refund meeting agent. And if the user just wants a generic meeting, it should transfer here to this client meeting booker. Edges can go both forwards and backwards. So you can create complicated loops. For example, here, I've defined that if the user expresses some doubt, they should go back to the initial qualification agent. Once we've done the first transfer, we can explore the different um, nodes that the agent also has access to. One of them is this dispatch tool. So this defines that at that point in the conversation, the agent must call this tool call. This can be super useful if you have some logic that requires verification. You can then tell the agent that it must call the verify user tool. And then conditionally, based on whether the API responds with a success code or a failure code, you define a transfer to separate nodes based on that condition. So for example, here, I've defined that if the follow-up email is called successfully, we should try and close the deal. Um, and if they do want to close in that day, based on another LLM condition, we can transfer immediately to my phone number. And this uses the transfer to number system tool that is native inside of the 11 Labs agents platform. The other system tools that are available are the end call tool. So if the LLM decides that at this point, the agent should transfer to this node, the conversation will be ended with a simple message to say goodbye. And also if we want to transfer to get a refund, we will be transferred to another agent defined inside of 11 Labs. So with workflows, you can break down the different parts of a conversation into composable blocks that allow you to really create intricate experiences for users and give your agent the right instructions at the right time without having huge system prompts that have to handle everything. In the next videos, I'll talk about common patterns that we see with workflows. And I'll also talk about how workflows integrates with our testing product so that you can be confident in an agent's behavior at specific nodes in a conversation. I look forward to seeing you in those videos and thank you for your time.